Hello, thank you very much uh, for uh, joining us again on the CSAT OUSU channel dedicated to assistive technology research and development. This video shows how Robocard, our proof of concept prototype of a robotic shopping assistant for visually impaired and blind individuals, guides a visually impaired shopper in a real supermarket by following line patterns on the floor with its camera. The idea is that simple line patterns such as straight lines, crosses, and angles are placed on the floor and the robot uses very simple and efficient vision-based algorithms to follow lines and to detect crosses and angles. In this experiment, every aisle entrance is marked with a cross pattern, so the robot figures out quite easily the right aisle to turn into by simply counting the crosses and using its internal map. And this is an interesting episode. The mother with several children blocks the line the robot is following with her shopping cart. And the robot detects that the line is blocked with its laser rangefinder and stops. We explain to her that the robot must follow the line for our experiment and she's very polite to yield away. Such requests to yield away can also be issued by the robot for speech synthesis. Note how the robot is about to detect a cross pattern on the floor and then it will turn into the destination aisle. There is no need to place any patterns on the floor inside the aisles because the laser rangefinder is quite sufficient. Their simple obstacle avoidance and wall following techniques are quite adequate for aisle navigation. And this is the robot navigating a blue line inside a cashier lane. Uh, in a few seconds at the end of the cashier lane, the robot will detect an angle pattern and it will turn left to go to the exit. So lane following presents a reasonable, reliable, and very inexpensive alternative to instrumenting the floor with RFID tags or relying exclusively on laser range finding and odometry, for example, using SLAM simultaneous localization and mapping. RFID instrumentation is still relatively expensive and is perceived by many people as intruding on their privacy, and SLAM's reliability tends to degrade in open areas and areas with lots of glass surfaces such as refrigeration aisles because glass deflects laser signals.